the two best bikes that Harley Davidson makes today from factory. You don't gotta do anything. You don't have to, you can keep a stock. You're not gonna get any better. Performance, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. You don't have to do anything. If you do something, it's because you wanna make it special. So this is my 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. And right here we have the model and the owner on this 2024 Roguelide CVO ST, another long title. But these basically are the two best bikes that Harley Davidson makes from factory. All the bells and whistles that you could want, especially on that bike. More so on that bike than this one, but we're, we're gonna get into all the details. Uh, we're gonna be talking about looks, performance, and just a little bit of everything. You guys already know Rich, bag is in BS. What's going on guys? I really wanted to do this video with Rich because Rich has this bike. He, he's an, also an owner of a Lowrider ST and then a Roguelide Standard 2024 as well, which is over there. All right, so these are my reasons why I think that these two bikes right here are the best bike for your buck. If you're looking for a performance bike, that is, because when we're talking about performance and looks wise, this is where you're gonna want right here. So we'll start with the uh, Lowrider ST. Reasons why I think this bike right now is probably one of the best cruisers that Harley Davidson makes is because A, it's my favorite bike. We'll start with that. Two, design wise, let's talk about design. I think the bike is, is, is superior when it comes to that. It has a nice retrofit from the 1980s FXR, FXRP, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you're going to have that nostalgic design with that redesigned fairing in the front. You're going to have the uh, clamshell bags in the back, that five gallon of the gas tank. And especially with this beautiful retro paint job right here, this tobacco favorite this year, the Enthusiast Collection color it's just it, it just it makes the bike more of what it is so the paint alone adds on to that um i love the design of the fender in the back i love the design of the rear fender as well but then all the components the way everything comes in together so design wise to me this is a 10 out of 10 it just everything just culminates together it looks good um it there, there's something that you you know i I mean, I wouldn't say you wouldn't change if you don't want to, because obviously I went ahead and I just added my own touch to it, which is probably one of the best things about Harley Davidson is about owning a bike. You could just make it your own. Add a ton of touches, just, just, just parts and parts and just make it more special. So we're not yet done with this. We're still gonna add more. Um, but even if this bike was just stock, it was just, it, it looks good sitting. Now, when it comes to looks on your bike, what is it that you mostly love? So for me, the biggest thing that I like, I, I love that they redesigned it. Don't get me wrong, I was a, a very big fan of the dual headlights, but I love that they redesigned it a little bit more modern. I actually like the shape of the bags. I know there's some people who aren't crazy I about them. I love the shape of the bags. I love, that's one of the things I love about it. Um, the, this bike, like you said, best bang for the buck and most bike for the buck. Well, looks wise, they're, in my opinion, 100% better. They've improved. Um, I know there's there's a big debate about that with some people about the, the shark nose and so on, but I mean, just overall, the, the design, the lines that they took for this model, I mean, the motor that they, that they crammed in there, uh, the inverted front end. Lo lo looks wise to, to this is probably the creme of la creme right now. I yeah. mean, the, the design, you can see the, the lines going from the fairing to the tank. The tank got shaved down a bit, so you don't longer have that. It's still kind of a teardrop tank, but they shaved off the underbelly of the tank, so it's, it's much more crisp. It's like a sharper line. Yeah, the, uh, the chopped bags in the back look absolutely great. Um, just the way, if you look at the bike from a distance, it just, it flows really nice. Then you got the carbon fiber hints on here from factory, that forged yeah. carbon from Fender. That sea cow looks amazing. And then you got more carbon fiber on the tank dash, which looks, it looks great. Um, the side fairing panel right here, that was a nice touch from them. I really, I really like the way that that looks. Feels everything in real nice. Um, big difference with the uh, street lights. Street lights, yeah, uh, you, you can't really, 
doesn't have that option. Um, the seat, the design of the seat obviously looks great. It feels great for a stock seat. It's yeah, actually nice. really, really comfortable, really good. Yeah. Um, it just overall looks amazing. But now, forged carbon fiber for me is also a big deal because nothing against the regular weave, but I just like forged because it's different. It's different. Yep. It's different. I'm, it. I'm, I'm happy that they went with a different look. Right now, performance. Let's talk about performance. The main reason why anybody will probably be interested in buying any of these bikes right here. Um, this right here comes from factory with the 117 Milwaukee 8, an absolutely peppy motor. If you're looking for a motor that's full of torque, power instantly, and you just want to get on the highway and just go, that's it right there. Now, if you want more than that, this bike comes with the 121. Milwaukee 8 and uh, that that thing is a beast it's a high put 121 uh, different from the uh, other 121 that's on the old well not the old well the 2023 and a half right CVO model the other one is variable valve timing yeah it comes with the BBT right this is just the, 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 the this is the high output 121 um, it's a beast it's a beast and on top of being a beast it does have the track modes, and for those of you that don't know, it also has the ability to be switched over to a custom mode where you can integrate a little bit of each, I guess, because it asks you... Customize you want... yourself to exactly what you're wanting. Yeah, and I just, I just adjusted it. I adjusted it on the other one, and I was like, wow, this is peppy. And then I was like, you know, I haven't looked at that one. So I figured since we were going to be here today, before you got here, I adjusted it and took it for a quick ride, and man, what a difference. I mean, that thing, when you talk about pep... I really want you to take it for a ride to, just to get your opinion. Yeah, I, I definitely want to. Um, so it, that's another thing when it comes to performance. That bike comes with different riding modes. Uh, the Lowrider ST doesn't yet. I mean, maybe it'll in the future it, it'll come with riding modes. That'd be great. But riding modes on the Road Glide, you have standard, you have rain mode, you have sport mode, track mode, and then custom track custom. mode and then the custom mode. Yeah. So. Um, the track mode on here is, is, is awesome. It's, it's great. I've been, I did a few laps on a track on that bike on track mode and it's, uh, really? so it's, it's a beast, man. That, that bike is, it's phenomenal. It's, it's great. It is. It's, uh, it's great. If, if you're looking for a really fun bike to get on with a lot of power from factory guys, these two right here are it. Now you might be saying, well, why are you kind of comparing both these bikes? It's not more of a comparison. This is just to give you the top best of the best. So if you're looking for the best soft tail you can get, it's this one. If you're looking for the best bagger you can get, it's that one right there. Yeah. There, there there's just no no denying it. Um, <clears throat> suspension wise, let's talk about suspension. So we're talking about performance. You can't talk about performance and not mention suspension. So this bike from here, like this, let's talk about this real, real quick because yours has a lot more bells and whistles to it. Mm -hmm. But this suspension, guys, I honestly got to say, and I've said it before in several videos, this is the only bike from Harley Davidson that comes with stock Harley suspension that you kind of don't have to switch out. The monoshock is great. The inverter front end handles great. It feels great. Um, is there improvement for adjustments and to be better? Of course, there's always room for improvement. But from factory, if you want a really, really good suspension, the best suspension that Harley makes, honestly, is gonna be on this bike right here, hands down. Now, your bike. Now we're going into another. Your I mean, bike comes with what kind of suspension? It's show a suspension all the way around. Show a suspension front and back. Yeah, front and back, fully adjustable, compression dampening, rebound dampening. I mean, it really has it all, and I was actually very surprised and impressed that it came with everything, because. You know, honestly, I, I don't feel the urgency to have to like, oh, I gotta get Olin's, oh, I gotta get uh, Legends, or right, any, right. any yeah, particular brand. Right. right. I just I from just, the get. Yeah, it feels great. I adjusted it to my weight. Obviously, guys, you're gonna have to adjust it. You know, it's it's probably gonna come very soft and cushy, which is fine. Yeah. Until you hit a pop yeah. <laughs> So, but once I adjusted it to my weight, uh, the compression, rebound, everything on front and rear, and I follow. It's very easy. I followed the book. Uh, you don't have to be a, a specialist to do it. Um, it is fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. You will not be disappointed. Um, I do feel the same about this one because I, I adjusted my, my monoshock and what a difference that made. I was like, ah, how much adjustment can it be? I adjusted it and unbelievable what a difference. So like bang for the buck, like you said, and performance suspension wise, these bikes are just second to none. And this thing, I, my opinion of this, it 
because I have one, it, it has one mode, fast. <laughs> for, the, for me, I feel like this is the mode for this is fast, out of the box, but it's capable of also touring. Yeah. With this, I feel like it's, well, this one is fast also and capable of touring, but let's go back to the standard, let's just say. Yeah. That is a touring bike that has the ability to go fast, if yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah. So, I, I mean. You gotta tweak that one yes. a lot to make it feel like that one. Correct. When it comes to power, suspension. Yeah. So that, 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 and that's a perfect, perfect little uh, comparison right now. Because he, here you have the CBLST and then the standard right there. And it's a hell of a difference, man, when it comes to performance. It because is. this motor is nothing compared to that. No. Suspension is nothing compared. No. Brake power is nothing compared. No. Even looks wise. It's just a different machine. It, as much as everybody may say, hey, you got two of the same bike. Appearance-wise, very similar. Yeah. Performance-wise, totally, yeah. totally different. different and that's bike. stock with no, nothing. That's got the Screaming Eagle tune and the pipe and the intake. Yeah. And it moves. Don't get me wrong. I love it, guys. You, you get, if you get that, you're not going to be disappointed. But this is where we're at. Let, let, let me ask you a question. And I want you guys to pay attention to this. In order to get that standard to the level that this bike is in, when it comes to looks, performance, braking, and suspension. How much you're gonna have to dump into that bike to make it feel and look like that one? Well, you're talking suspension alone, just suspension, you're talking about four grand, roughly, 1,600 for, for front the front and back. Another 12 to 1,400 for the front. That's not including insulation, depending if you do it yourself. Then, you're not, a cam is not gonna get you quite there. I mean, this thing from the factory thinks 128 horsepower, 145 torque, mm -hmm. right? So you're probably gonna do like a stage three to that. Yeah, you'd, have, you'd probably more. have to do a big bore kit for that. And you know, that's, you're, you're climbing up into, I mean, right there you're talking about- Five, six grand. Yeah, easy. So you're probably what, eight grand, nine grand into it already. And that's before you do bars and before the pipe, that's not even including the pipe, you know, the intake and all that stuff and then tuning time, et cetera. You know, so, the, you know, and along with that stuff, sometimes comes some other uh, challenges. You know, you start tearing up belts if you yeah. ride like, depending how your riding style yeah. is. And then there's a little stuff, the looks, the carbon, the brakes. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know. What, and, and this one here is, is, is it's just done up. Beautiful. There's not, there's not, in, in reality, if I do anything to this, it's gonna be maybe the bars, two into one, and honestly, maybe just the Screaming Eagle tune. And that's it. And that's really it, because yeah. you got guys putting out 128 to the rear wheel and 140, 130 something or to the rear wheel. You know, yeah. I said 128, 145 torque. That's at the crank. So you put the tuner in it, yeah. and it supposedly makes a big difference. I'd want more than that, though. I know me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but technically, guys, if you kind of want a standard to kind of perform and look like that one, you're you're looking upwards around 15 grand or so. Yeah. You, is, that, is that safe to say? I would say, say so. I would right? say that's safe to say. You, you're going to spend some bucks, you know, and yeah. when you can buy that and really don't have to do a whole lot to that's it. That's from factory. Right. That's from factory, which is, which is great. And this taps out. The top end on this is faster than that, you know, yeah. significantly yeah. faster, which I like, which is actually the same as this. Yeah. Um, talking about that, when it comes to performance on this bike, obviously the, this bike is not stock anymore whatsoever. Uh, we. Did it go ahead? This bike is a stage two. Um, has a Psychorama 483 cam in it. Sounds great. Performs Amazing. great. So if, if this bike was fast already from factory, imagine how it is now. It's, it's, just, it's just a ripper. Um, I've let you on it. Yes. Um, Hans has been on it, and Mike has been on the bike as well. Um, and everyone gets off the bike, and it's. It, 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 it's just a smile from ear to ear, man. Like it, it's it's such I'm a smiling fun bike. Just thinking about it. <laughs> it's such a fun bike to ride uh, with that setup. Um, and then with any Milwaukee A guys, honestly, if if you want more performance out of it, like always tell people, you want performance out of the Milwaukee A. You want that Milwaukee A to sound like a real Harley Davidson and not like a sewing machine. You need a cam in it. It, it. it is what it is. Put a cam and an exhaust, a few little parts here and there. It, it becomes a beast. The Milwaukee A is such a great motor. Uh, regardless of what people may say about twin cams and Evos in the back, the, these, these motors are far way superior from any outgoing motor. Simple as that. Um, Performance-wise, let's talk about brakes real quick on yours. The, 
your bike came with some nice set of brakes from Factor as well. Uh, Brembo brakes on there as well. The rotors are a beautiful, nice design from Harley as well. Yep. They definitely went in with that. The wheel design on the front, beautiful as well, special to that bike. I love it. I love it. I, like I said, looks wise, I love it. Um, the only thing I would change would maybe be the, the uh, besides the exhaust and the, pipe, the uh, pipes would be maybe like the rear rotor to match the front. Yeah, yeah, which, which is weird. I, I don't, Harley, why, why did you guys do that? Like, why did you put a nice rotor in the front and, and leave the back one looking all, all like, uh <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know. But it it, it should have matched up. No, I, I agree. It yeah, should have matched up. Other than that, like looks wise, I don't, I love it. Ah, it's so beautiful, dude. So, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, your low rider ST is coming back soon. It's getting a bunch of goodies on it right now. So we don't want to talk about what it is because I don't want to spoil it for the public. But once we get the bike in here, we're going to do a nice full little walk around, put it next to mine, and then we'll take it on the road grip and then talk about both bikes. Last but not least. Well, not last but not least. Well, yeah, last but not least, guys. Even though these bikes are super fast, they perform well, they look great. The best thing, and I'll mention it again, best thing about owning Harley is that you could just make it your own because look what I've done so far with this bike and I'm still nowhere done. And there's tons of parts on here already. Yeah. And it's and it's it's endless. For me that's part Same of the thing whole, with that bike. Yeah, hundred percent. For me that's part of the whole deal. Like you get these bikes and you make it your own. And you know, when you go to these rallies and these events, you see all the different, um, you know, anything from your performance bag or right on up to your, your fabricated customs from guys that are fabricating stuff there on their own. Yeah. That aren't even getting stuff from manufacturers, you know, and making their own type of little setups, whatever that may be at the time. Yeah. And you're like, wow, right then. Which, and then to add on to that, I just, I hate it. I hate when I hear guys saying, well, you paid it. X amount for this Harley Davidson. Talk about 40 grand over here or 25 for this or whatever it may be. And then you gotta dump another 10 or 15 grand into it to make it this or that. Like if you're dumping that much money, it's because you want it to yeah. be special. You don't gotta do anything. You don't have to. You could keep a stock. 100 percent You could just put an exhaust on it. Slip-ons. But eight hundred dollars But the reason why people dump all this money into these bikes, like in the car scene, you know, is to make it special, to make it stand out, make it special, make it your own, add your own touch to it, and just it's, it's just a cool factor, man. It, it is what it is. It's just, it's, it's, it's funny you mention that because when guys t take a Lambo and turn it into a twin turbo street racing car or a track car, nobody says anything. But you do it with a Harley and it's like, oh, meanwhile, it's not even a quarter of the price. The, the turbos for a Lambo cost what this bike costs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. it's just, I just think it's funny when, uh, I completely agree. Like, it, you don't have to do anything. Just, you don't. You know, if you want to, you do it. And, and it's, say that again. You know what? You don't have to. You do don't have anything. to do anything because these bikes from factory come great. Come great. Like these two right here, performance. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. You don't have to do anything. If you do something, it's because you want to make it special. And it. truth be told, even the standard now with the, with the new bars that they came with are significantly better than the wheelbarrow handlebars that used to come that you rode like this. And now you're up great. here. You know, so realistically, and that seat's not bad. Like the stock seat, ah, it's okay. It's okay. I would, listen, don't get me wrong. I'm it's definitely okay. going to change it. But it's okay. Compared to what used to come? Yeah, yeah. compared to yeah. the outgoing seats, like, ugh, it, this is way better. Um, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, anything else for me? No, listen, go out, get what you want, do what you want to it. Don't worry about what anybody else says and enjoy the ride. Exactly. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. That was good, man.